Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd take you with me. I'm doing a couple errands. I need to go um, drop off some dry cleaning on the Upper West Side and um, go pick up my fur coat, which is in, uh, the, this fur vault, this like fur storage that I have downtown. And I thought I'd take you with me. So it's a gorgeous fall day. It's sunny, it's a little chilly. Um, I just took the dogs for a walk. I have Stewie here and then um, our neighbor's dog Daisy is staying with us for the day Because her owners are up in the Hudson Valley and she's over there with a squeaky um, Anyway, follow along So I just left my dry cleaning I had 17 shirts four sweaters and one pair of pants I don't even know how I'm gonna do like picking this stuff up. It's like insane Anyway, now I'm heading downtown and I'm going to go get that coat and the rest of the stuff. Um, what else? Oh my God. I saw RuPaul's Drag Race last night, the finale. A fucking mess. I'm, I've been watching that show since the first season and I really love it. Um, but I feel like it's become so formulaic. Like, I just, it's like... I feel like, um, obviously everyone knew Alaska was going to win, but I'm like, okay, can we just break out of the mold for once in our lives and like, um, have Katya win? I feel like Katya deserved to win. I, I don't know. I just feel like I was a little bit let down again with this damn, um, episode and just the series in general. It was kind of weird. I did like how they, um, switched the, the manner of like judging the show, like now, the queens can like eliminate themselves and all that but um i don't know i was really let down i feel like the show's gone way downhill and i mean I, i've been watching since season one i wish they would bring back untucked like the old school untucked like interior illusions lounge and all of that messy nonsense i need that i need that in my life anyway i'm obsessed with the damn trisha Pay paytas song um damn i look good I'm feeling myself and pain. I don't know. I just started listening to it and I'm like really addicted to it. Um, tell me in the comments if you, if you like that song too. Um, anyway, I'm just heading to the subway now so I can go down. I'm on like 75th right now because I like the dry cleaner over here best. Like I'm really picky about like where I clean my clothes. Um, and so I came down here to do that. And then now I'm going to like 34th street. I think like 36th Street, that's where the furrier place is. And so I can go get my stuff, which I'm really excited about. Um, oh my God, I can't get that song stuck in my head. Damn, Trisha, what's wrong with you? I love that song. You know she made that shit for the gays. Like that song and the beat and everything, like that is like a gay beat if I heard one. You know that's, that's, that's New York. You know that's a gay beat if you ever heard one. Um, anyway. Uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Oh, it's so beautiful out. Can you see like Central Park? Like behind me. Central Park. It's so gorgeous. This weekend I'm going to go um, uh, north a little bit and hopefully um, uh, see some fall foliage. I'm really looking forward to seeing some fall colors. We're just starting to see a little bit here. I think we need like another cold night or two. And then Central Park will be like golden. It'll be so pretty. Anyway, um, I'll see you in a sec. So I'm walking now to go get the coat. I'm like downtown now, like on um, 8th Avenue and West 33rd Street. So I'm heading down to 30th, I think. Um, I'm right by uh, Penn Station and uh, Madison Square Garden. Isn't that nice? I haven't been down here, in, like, like I said, since March when I dropped this stuff off. And it was so dangerous because um, they want you to buy stuff while you're in there and they have all of these coats and they're like, oh, just put like, you know, a couple hundred dollars, like three or $400 down and you can get a brand new fur coat. And they're like, you can get like this mink coat for a couple grand. And you're like, just put a couple, you know, a couple hundred dollars down and you just make payments and um, you'll have a coat paid for by the time winter comes around. I'm like, Okay, I can't get a fucking fur coat right now. Um, I have a lot of things on my plate, but it's nice to dream. And when you walk into this store, it's crazy. Like they have, oh my God, if you go on my Instagram, you'll see like me and like a Lynx coat and like 
um, I saw this beautiful sapphire mink. Like, it was very elegant. It was like knee-length coat. And then I, um, I tried on, I tried on a couple of things. The guy was really working me. It's like owned by a bunch of Russians. They're really nice, but they're very like, they're mean business. Um, I like it though. I really like the store. And honestly, I thought I never stored furs before. Cause like, I just moved to New York like two years ago. So like my coat is new. This is the first time I stored it. And it was actually pretty cheap. Um, I have a fur collar that I just put on like coats and stuff or by itself on a sweater. And I've had that for like four years, five years, and I've never cleaned it. And so I thought it was time to um, clean it. And so I'm really excited to see what it looks like. If it's like fluffier or shinier or something. But um, we'll see when we pick it up. Um, maybe they'll give me a bag, I don't know. Sorry for the noise. I'm like literally, it's rush hour, it's like five in the afternoon and it's New York traffic. So welcome to New York. Um, what street is this? West 31st, I have one more block. Anyway, I feel bad for people driving here. I was driving in New York yesterday when I went to the grocery store. Oh, hold on. Just gotta let this pass. Okay. Anyway, I hope I never have to ride an ambulance in the city because no one pulls over for those things. Um, anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, I was driving yesterday, but I don't drive below like 59th Street. I, I'm not ever gonna do it. Um, I just drive up by like where I live in like Harlem because it's more like normal. Like you don't have all the craziness, like it's down here. So um, I went to the grocery store. I think those guys were talking about me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> um, I'm wearing the most ridiculous outfit right now. I'm wearing like leggings and really bright sneakers and a thermal, watch me get killed, and uh, a red hoodie. I'm not really dressed up. Um, I usually dress up when I go downtown, but whatever, I don't give a fuck. It's my day off. Um, here we go. So I'm almost there. Anyway. You guys are probably gonna write me a lot of hate comments down below about fur is wrong and PETA this and all that. Honestly, I'm not gonna respond to them. Everyone has an opinion and everyone has a right to do what they want. I hope you guys can look past that and just enjoy this video for what it is. It's just a vlog, it's just a day in my life. This is what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, that's all I'm gonna talk about regarding that. Um, anyway, hope you guys don't get too offended by the fur thing. I know a lot of people, like, honestly, I think I have, like, one friend who's really, like, likes fur like I do. And the rest of them are so either indifferent or they don't like it. But, you know, we have to respect each other. Um, anyway, I don't want to talk about that anymore. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of thumbs down on this video for that. But who cares? This is YouTube. I can do whatever the hell I want. I can post whatever I want. I can film whatever I want. And you can just click out of the video. Anyway, I'm almost here. I'm almost to the fur place. And I will come back in a second once I get it. Bye. All right, so I just got the stuff. Um, I brought this bag with me. It's like a cloth bag. And I actually brought it for the dry cleaning, but um, I actually ended up using it for the fur. So I have this huge like bag. It's like enormous and it's full of the fur stuff. Um, so I'm literally walking around New York City with this huge bag full of fur. And in the store next door, I swear this is like the fur district, they have this cute little keychain. Isn't that cute? It's like a little fur bunny. I love it. I just got it right now. Um, anyway, I'm really excited to wear this stuff. It needs to get cold. And now I'm going to go meet Jim and we're going to go look at upgrading our, our phones because it's finally time to do so. God knows I've dropped this phone so many times and I just want to get a new phone. Anyway, hope you enjoy this vlog.